dangerous receiver, and do you think it's the right fit for him? I think he can play both. Uh, his ball skills, y'all yeah, know, like he has great ball skills. He knows how to high point a ball. Um, he just has to learn the, the little nuances of a uh, receiver, and it's not just running routes. Like, it's, it's a certain type of craft. He can do whatever he puts his mind to. I mean, he's, he's a special type of athlete. He can jump out the gym. I mean, he works hard. So. Is there a Penn State receiver right now that we're not talking about enough, or, or maybe? went out there and balled in spring practice that you can't wait to see get back in the field this summer. Not really talking about Jahan or Parker here. Kind of someone who's yeah. a little bit off the radar. Uh, I would say two people, Keandre Lambert, who I go against a whole lot, and Daniel George, two guys who work extremely hard, and I get to, I get, I get to go against Dre a whole lot uh, during the spring, so I always get to help him out, tell him what I see, um, tell him what I kind of um, do to kind of stop him. So I think he's going to have a huge season for us. You mentioned your experience in this conference and seeing a lot of guys. Who do you think is the most underrated guy that you've gone against or somebody that doesn't get maybe the, the shine that they should, how good they are? As far as receiver? Yeah, receiver anybody in this conference. Uh, Parker Washington. Yeah, I ain't see. I don't think I see him on any list. Yeah, did he was he on anything? I got really. Yeah, he's y'all gonna see. He's the real deal. Like he works extremely hard. He's always in the building. Um, and he's just, I don't know, just a hard worker. Like he has bright future, and I can't wait to see everything he does. The transfer portal was big for your defense this year in the cornerback room, too. Uh, can you talk about what John was able to do getting in no. January? Um, and then additionally, bringing in AJ just recently? I mean, both of them guys fit in the room. I already knew AJ a little bit from him being from the same city as me, from, we're both from PG County. So I already knew what he kind of was about. Um, and then Johnny Dixon, he just comes in and works hard every day. Um, he fit in the room real, real well. Um, easy transition. Um, he's a scrappy guy. Um, yeah, you can play both inside and outside, which brings extreme extreme depth in our room, which is always always good. So, yeah. Just the deepest cornerback room that you've been a part of? I would say yeah, from top to bottom, for sure. It's going to be a great interview. I guess that's another one, because the guy that just left that room, Keaton Ellis, looks a lot different than he did just a little while ago. How do you think he factors in? For you guys on defense, how can how is he going to still be a key player for this defense? Even though he's moved on from point Yeah, I mean he's able to play all three positions, and that just benefits him and also us at the end of the day. He plays safety. When he came in, he played nickel. He also plays corner. So it's just like. He has the body type and also the athletic ability to do all three. So um, he's definitely going to help our team. Uh, 